applications for judicial review slightly different in that such an application may be made when the case has been finally concluded, but it can also be made during the proceedings themselves as an interlocutory measure. For example, you might, albeit it's going to be a very rare occurrence, isn't it? You might be seeking judicial review against the decision of magistrates to adjourn a case. Or you might be seeking judicial review against the decision of magistrates to commit for sentence. The High Court may reverse, affirm or amend the determination in respect of which the case has been stated, or remit the matter to the justice or justices with the opinion of the court thereon, or make such other order in relation to the matter as the court may seem fit. The court may substitute a valid for an invalid sentence. The court may order a rehearing before the same or a different bench of justices. The court may send the matter back with a direction to convict. So you can see there, can't you, on slide 10, uh, when the matter is before um, the High Court, their powers of dealing with it are fairly wide. By means of a mandatory order, the High Court request can request justices of the peace to do any act relating to the duties of their office or require them to state a case. A prohibiting order prevents the court from proceeding further in excess of its jurisdiction. A declarity order is a declaration by the High Court on a legal issue. For example, a declaration of incompatibility between domestic legislation and European legislation. As mentioned earlier, judicial review is not a right and permission must be obtained before embarking upon this course of action.